what is this? Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, posting another Clash Royale video, and today I'm going to be showing you some replays, and I'm going to be showing you my first battle in Arena 7. So here we were up against Shampoo, and so we really didn't have a good starting hand, so I just placed the Spear Goblin, and he actually had an Ice Wizard somehow. Yeah, that's a thing. See, I am the most unlucky person there is when it comes to getting legendaries. Like, I get epics and all that, like, yeah, but I can't get anything else. Just... So, I dropped a fireball there. He uh, didn't do that much damage to my tower, luckily, with his ice wizard, as the ice wizard only did one damage. So, that helped me out a lot. So, I am winning right now. I have a elixir lead. Elixir advantage, but he placed down a bomb tower. And if you know my deck, my the bomb tower is the what's it called? Achilles ankle. Yeah, whatever. It's like the only thing that can stop my deck. Like that and inferno towers. That's it. So I luckily had my minions there to take out his bomb tower. And he had, I had a push going down the right. He had that going down the left. And I fireballed those minions and then distracted the um, giant skeleton with uh, my spear diamonds. Now I'm distracting it with my skeletons while I'm going to work on that right hand tower. And so after this push, the, the game was basically over. It's just, the tower's at 309. He's trying to play defense for the rest of the game, and I have fireballs. So, I really just needed to play defense. So, that's what I did. And now, I'm just putting down every single troop I can on the on defense. And right here, I thought, oh, no, I have nothing to counter this. Because all I didn't have, like, any ground troops that actually did damage to it. But, luckily, he missed his, um, zap. So, now I'm just fireballing the tower. He's still playing defense with his bomb tower. So I tried to like get a cheeky little push going on this right hand side and then go down to the left. Or hopefully get the three crown. But then he plays an ice wizard. Which is basically a walking free spell. So I knew that I wasn't going to get anything. So I just put down my bomb tower in the back to play defense. So my giant I actually thought could do something here. And it didn't. So now I'm just playing ultra defense. I thought that this push could have taken down a tower if I didn't get this uh, fireball, but it didn't. So luckily I won this game, and yeah, let's hop into the next game. So hopping into the next video, next uh, replay, we are at 1,988 trophies. So that means one win, and I'm in Arena 7. And I was really hyped for this game, so I got really good starting cards, so... I was happy about that. He had a musketeer. So I put down my witch and I put down my giant for a push. I then put down minions to take out the um, musketeer because he locked onto my giant. So I put down the minions and he put down fire spirits, which actually did uh, quite a bit. And then he put down a fireball, which took out basically my entire push. And somehow he's still at six, six elixirs. And I was just shocked. I did not know what to say. It's just, how could you possibly still have this much elixir and then start a push on the left-hand side? Luckily, he zapped but didn't get my spear goblins. So I was lucky for that. But he is uh, currently winning this game. So, um, I have done decent damage to both the towers. At least like 400, I think. He's done about 600 in my tower and then a little to the right. So, I wasn't too scared at this moment, but still, I was a little bit nervous that I was going to lose. But luckily, this guy was at like 2,100 and something trophy. So, if I lost, I only would have lost like 18 or something. So, he fireballed that. And I was thinking, why does every single person have a fireball? It, it's just, it counters my witch, basically. And then, I was also glad that this guy didn't have, um, Barbarian. 
The people who use barbarians just take out this deck. Like, seriously. So, I got this tower here, and I was like, oh, this game's over. You might as well. This guy should just give up already. So, I'm just getting that out, and then he places that. So, I was like, now I can't start my push right away, but luckily I do. That musketeer did some pretty good damage that right hand side. And so then I have a push going down the right. I just let that mini packer go and then I put down a distraction. He probably was thinking, oh yes, mini pack is gonna take out that tower. <laughs> Sorry. Got your hopes up, but not gonna happen. He has a push going down the left hand lane, but luckily he has no zap to counter. So I can easily take out that hog rider and get the easy three crown victory. And that is how I got into Arena 7. I am yet to battle in Arena 7, but let's hop into a battle right now. Ooh, we are up against Ninja. Okay. Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. Ooh, good starting hand. Unfortunately, I don't know what he has. Okay, really? Really? Does everybody have a legendary except me? Is that the new thing? Like, oh, let's just not give Zach a... And, uh, Legendary, I think he's doing just fine without one. Oh my gosh, that did heavy damage, and I just realized I was wasting Elixir right there. So I'm gonna get my push going. Let's see what he uses to counter, so I have my Fireball at the ready. Wizard, anything else? Doesn't appear so. Oh, wow. Should've just waited a second longer. Oh, why did I place those skeletons? Oh my gosh, I thought I was hovering over something else. Well, that ripped the skeletons. Ooh, some pretty good damage going down on that right tower, and that basically made up for what I happened to me. Alright, so, archers actually do a lot of damage. I learned that. I'm gonna place that, I'm gonna place that, I'm gonna place that. And that miner did decent damage, but not that much. So I have my fireball ready, because I might actually let this Valkyrie go to work. Nah, I'm not. I'm going to let that go. And hope that the mini P.E.K.K.A. gets taken out, and it does. Nice. And now, minions actually, minions are amazing. I don't use Minion Horde because I really like this deck, but everybody that I know has been telling me, you have to use the Minion deck if you want a good the minion horde if you want a good deck i'm just like but i'm doing right i'm doing fine just now with my deck he was like you don't know what a good deck is if you don't have minion horde i'm like all right whatever you say but i'm still not gonna put it in so yeah oh uh, sorry about that uh something just happened but i'm about to get this tower if that it, it cut out right before i got there i'm gonna put down witch and i'm gonna put down Skeletons and this, but yeah, good game. Good game. Sorry, bro, but this game's over. Well played. And GG. So, first attack in Arena 7 went fairly well. I'm actually happy about that. I am one crown away from Crown Chest. So, I will be right back when that is full and I will show you my first chest in Arena 7. Alright guys, I finally got the crown chest. It took me two battles and I actually lost trophies as I lost this guy as he had what wrecked my deck. He used cannon and then a elixir pump. He put the elixir pump in like the back of the middle and he put cannon in front of it. So my giant got lured over to the cannon and then got lured to the elixir pump because it was right behind it. But then I ended up beating this guy one crown to zero. So let's see what I get in my first arena seven crown chest. It's opening, 407 coins, 3 gems, 11 archers, oh, it's going to be an epic or a legendary, one of the two, and it's a skeleton army, uh, can I upgrade that if it doesn't cost 1,000, where is it, uh, 2,000, ooh, well, I'm not upgrading that, well, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below what video I should play next. And what, wait, no. What game I should play next. And make sure to hit that thumbs up. Bye.